My name is Jalisha Rose. I'm in the 12th grade and I play piccolo and I'm also a dancer. The band is actually a family to me because whenever you need support, they're always there for you. Whenever you need a hand, they're always there for you. My favorite band moment, when we planned Mr. Ellie's birthday party, which was surprising. I have received a scholarship from Alcorn State University, The Sound of Dynamite. <laughs> my favorite band song would be Sucker for Love. It is my song. Every time this song comes on, I get chills and I love it. <laughs> I have been in the band for three years. My favorite thing about this year, this school year, when we travel to Mardi Gras, it, I love my band family and I would truly miss you all. Hello, my name is Ashley Stewart and I play a French horn. I'm also on the auxiliary line. I dance. I'm a singer. My name is Shandrika Letlow. I'm in the 12th grade. I play trombone. I'm also the captain of the squirrel line of the 16 2017 school year. Band is like a family because over the years you tend to grow a friendship. Like you get real close to your fellow band members. Like you get so used to seeing them every day or every other day like you do your own family. And it's just so much love that we give each other and support. I have a band scholarship for Mississippi Delta Community College. And I also received the scholarship for Jarvis Christian College in Dallas. <sighs> you know me? The thing I'm gonna miss about the band is going on the trip and all the fun memories and the fun times I had with the band and with Mr. Allen when we just could sit and laugh and joke and when we go to battle the bands or any performance and we just do good and we just have fun. Oh, <laughs> in the parade when we play Get Ready, I just get so hyped. Like, Get Ready, it, it really does something to me. Especially when I'm dancing, I, I just be gone. Like, it just be so fun to play Get Ready. <laughs> My favorite band trips we took this year was when we went to Dallas, Texas. And we did a battle of the band against like three bands from Texas and we won first place. Another one was when we went to Mardi Gras. Oh boy. And we did three parades. And the night parades, they were so fun. It was so hype. Like the people had great energy. They were supporting us. They were rooting for us. And then it was so nice to see all the colors, the different traditions, and how they celebrate Mardi Gras. And I was just happy I got a chance to participate in that. The thing, the thing I'm gonna miss about this band is the fun trips we went on, the love and support that you can get when you're feeling down and out. And in my 12th grade year, it was real fun. I'm really gonna miss the band because it helped me to push forward and it teaches life lesson skills. My name is Ariana Peaches. I play the trombone and I'm in the 12th grade. This is my first year in band. I do feel like the band is a family. I feel like I formed a bond that I really wouldn't have formed if I didn't get in the band. Um, my favorite band mom was when the band was Alcorn. I do feel like I improved a lot because in August I didn't even know how to hold a horn. Now I'm actually playing songs and I can read music a little bit, so yeah. I'm gonna miss all my friends. Like I got a lot of friends. I'm gonna miss my band directors. I'm gonna miss, every I'm gonna miss everything. I'm gonna attend Mississippi Delta Community College and then I'm gonna go on to attend either Jackson State or Alcorn and I'm major in education, elementary education. I love parades as long as they're not eight hours long. How do you feel about Mardi Gras? Oh, um, nice, nice trip. In the first parade, very nice. Very long. Mardi Gras was very. My name is Jemaya Hempia. I am a senior, finna be graduating, and I play the trumpet and dance. Oh, well, I think my section is the best section, but I really do think that the baritone section has really improved this year. I honestly did not know that he was gonna give us a band hoodie. Like, I really thank him for giving me that hoodie because it's so warm. 
Well, I'm gonna miss most about the band on football season, of course. Battle of the bands and just hanging around with each other. That's what I'm gonna really miss. The scholarships that I have earned a full tuition scholarship at Mississippi Delta Community College, and I received a um, scholarship for the Alcorn State University, and I will be majoring in nursing to become an obstetrician, gynecologist. <laughs> Okay. okay, my name is Alexis Foster. I am in the 12th grade and I play baritone. This is my first year in the band. Um, the band has been a great experience. I'm in the really miss the band and all the people in it. I consider the band as my second family. I just love everything that comes along with it. Um, being in the band has caused me me to become a better person as far as following directions and you know just listening to people when they tell you to do certain things. Football season was one of my favorite seasons because I enjoyed field shows very much. It was very fun being out there with all my band family and doing all the different routines and playing the music. The learning process, it was not that hard, but it was hard. You had to pay attention, make sure you was counting, and turn on time, because if you didn't, it could be very bad. What I have observed about Mr. Allen is that he is a very caring person. He is very dedicated. He loves what he does, and you can tell by how he comes and teach everyone and how patient he is. Uh, my name is Audrey. Lee Francis Pickett, <laughs> um, excuse my middle name, you know, excuse my hair. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a senior, class of 17. I play the tuba, uh, tuba, my favorite instrument. I've been playing about five, six years now. And uh, tuba, say, you know, since ninth grade, when I just, you know, picked up on uh, playing the tuba, it ain't been that hard. I cry. It was a couple nights I cried, you know. Tuba ain't just no, no light instrument. Two thousand for life. So uh, field shows, you know, uh, the, I believe the hardest part about field shows is trying to remember what a step and what notes to play. My name is Justin Lowe. I'm in 11th grade. I've been in a band about seven years, and I play trumpet, the trumpet. When I became a section leader, I was in the seventh grade. That was my first time being a section leader. I was at Coleman Middle School. And being a section leader is very important, as of the words of Mr. Allen. You gotta watch your section, keep it in place, make sure everybody playing the right notes, make sure your section straight, and keep in check of everything. Being a section leader is not hard, it's, it's about how much effort you put in. I say to my senior class this leaving, I salute you. Y'all were very good. Y'all weren't the best, but uh, 2K18 we will be there next year. We are strong, we committed, we laugh, we play, but at the end of the day, we still get everything did, no matter what happened. We done had a lot of memories, and I love y'all. My name is Will, I'm in the 11th grade, and I play trombone in the back. Being on the bus with my homeboys and my sisters is an enjoyable time. You know, we play around, joke around, we have fun. We went to Shreveport. We was kind of, uh, you know, itchy about the performance because we know we knew we was playing against this great big old band from Texas. But we went in there, we did what Mr. Anna told us to do, play with control, play softly, don't no overplay, no screaming, and all screaming. So at the end of the battle, we come back, Excuse they try to tell everybody that we won second place, but we get back to Greenville, Mr. Mr. Ella announced that we won first place. Okay. To my fellow senior gamblers, y'all are really going to be truly missed. I love y'all. Hello, my name is Jonathan Allen and I am the director of bands here at Greenville High School in Greenville, Mississippi. I say that 
being a band director um, takes a lot. There's a lot that goes along with being a band director. It's more than just the title band director. There's all the subtitles that go along with being a band director that, that can make the job challenging. Um, a band director has to be uh, a teacher, a conductor, a musician, a administrator, an entertainer, a leader, a babysitter, a repairman, a role model, uh, a leader, um, a travel agent, a treasurer, a music arranger, a salesman, a designer. Um, there, there's just so many things that go along with being a band director that that makes the that makes the job difficult at times, um, especially with the youth of today, um, the kids that are that we teach nowadays are a lot different than the kids that we had many years ago or the, the kids that we were when we were growing up. The kids of this generation are faced with much, much more and sometimes you, you kind of have to um, go the extra mile with them to help keep them on track, to help keep them motivated and to show them that you know there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. I wanted to say that <clears throat> A lot of people ask about band. What is it about band that makes band so different from other things and other organizations? And I can say that band is one of those things that, first of all, we don't have a season. You've got basketball team, they have basketball season. Football team, they have football season. Track and all this. Band never stops. Band is one of those things that, uh, that continuously happens year round. In the fall we have football season, we have games, parades, in the spring we have concert season, sometimes we have a couple of showdowns, battle of the bands, and then summer comes around and then we're back at summer camp and band camp and we're pretty much starting all over getting ready to do it all over again. So it never stops. The family just continues to grow and we get we get closer and closer and closer together the longer uh, the more amount of time that we spend in the band program. Um, being a part of band teaches you so many different life skills. Like I, I tell my students, you may be one of those kids that go and put in a job application somewhere and you may have the same qualifications and the same GPA and the same accolades as any other person. But when you put that you are a member of the band on there and another person may not have been uh, a member of the band Usually an employer is going to want to pick that person that was in the band solely because they understand that that child has been through an organization that requires dedication. It requires uh, being, uh, being able to be punctual, being on time for things, being able to work hard for things, being able to tell yourself that I can't give up even when you want to give up. I got to keep going. Even when I mess up, I got to keep going. These are all these different things that you learn through being in the band that just the average kid just does not get. And it, it's good to be a part of the band to learn these life skills and to learn what it means to work hard, what it means to say yes sir and no sir and being able to you know, wait your turn and wait your time for certain things to happen and get that spotlight and then being able to, once you get that spotlight, know what to do with it. Things of that nature. So those are things that you don't get just being a normal student at school all of the time. Um, another thing, just being being in a structured activity after school hours versus being out somewhere in the community or on the streets doing other activities that may not be good for the student to be doing is it's good to be somewhere where the kids feel safe they feel at home they feel protected and they feel like they're they're learning something that can be beneficial to them in the future you know, when practice is over they can go home they you know they do their studies and everything like that and they know that they have lived a productive day so these are just only a few of the key reasons why band is important I love you seniors. We teach uh, life skills. We teach, um, stop, because I can't breathe. <laughs> he gonna cut his ass. I, need some, I know, I need some water though, but like, I can't breathe. Like. Michael, what's this for? This is for uh, a documentary. Who, Michael? This is too right close to the camera. That's for you record.
Yeah. I did not know. <laughs> you made me laugh. We're gonna cut that part. Over the years, you you trying to grow to know each other and grow. You train. Oh shoot. You train. Oh my goodness, Michael. <laughs> oh, I'm messing up too. <laughs> Y'all stop making me laugh. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The Bane family. <laughs> Okay, let me stop. Okay. You I say that. <laughs> I'm Michael. Just in case you were warning. Next question. <laughs> Go. It's on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. To my graduating seniors, Jalisa Groves, Roy Wilson, Kirsten Wilson, Andre Pittman. Ariana Peaches, Ashley Stewart, Ashley Cross, Jamisha Hemphill, Brayton Jenkins, Bradford House, Darian Washington, Kanshayla Nelson, Deedrick Cross, Dierica Cross, Elliot McElroy, Jamiah Hemphill, Sandrika Ledlow, Kelsey Wright, Malcolm Moore, Reginald Shields, Quanisha Smith, Shamira Thompson, Zakedrick Goodman, Michael Jones, and Alexis Foster. I wish you all success in the future. Congratulations to you and your graduation. I pray that you remember everything that has been taught to you and instilled inside of you all of the life lessons and the life skills that you have learned through being a part of this program and i hope that it bids you success and happiness in the future the memories that we've had through these past few years will never be forgotten congratulations to you on all of your scholarships and all of your achievements and awards, all of you president scholars and superintendent scholars, I hope that you keep the same frame of mind as you go on into the real world. And always remember that you can do anything that you put your mind to, anything that you put your heart to. All you have to do is focus, concentrate, Make sure that whatever it is that you're doing in the world, that you are at the right place, at the right time, with the correct materials, ready to focus, and you will be all right. If there's anything you need, make sure that you do not hesitate to contact Mr. Allen because I will always be there for you. One solid goal, always Solid gold.